Hello everyone, we're back again with another one. I hope we are having a great time. So we're back again on market updates on BTC from what we are anticipating from the market from a technical standpoint and also sentiment and a little bit of fundamentals. We can talk about a few more ideas that we had about the market news and fundamentals. So anyway, we're back on the chat now. We are looking at BTC is currently trading at 57,000, 56,000 region. So we already had this whole decline that we had talked about on our previous videos. And we talk about we tapping uh, um, the market tapping around 60,000 region, which was a strong resistance level. And we tapped that we had that whole surge at back to this 56,000, 55,000 region. So looking looking down to it, you can see that we have all we are currently the market is currently consolidated. We are already tapped that resistance level at 60,000 region, and what we are already consolidating around 55,000 region, 56,000 region. So now. That being said, if we are going back on the like looking at the market index, currently the market index is right here, the BTC market index. So BTC is currently on a what on a fair and greed radar. Like on that index is we are currently on a fair radar. Meaning to say there's a lot of like a fear in the market. So a lot of investors who are a little bit more skeptical. A lot of people are a little bit more skeptical in the market of the huge huge decline. So and what looking at that. When, when we go back on the chart, we can see that the market is currently consolidating, showing like like a, the um, the current 56,000 region can act as a support level and we can what pop off. But what I already what I've already talked about was that we are still on a bearish decline on BTC. Actually, the market is strongly bearish, but that meant to say that what we should be anticipating or the game plan should be this: we are anticipating like now the whole idea about BTC is like this. The market is already looking for what a new catalyst that will induce the market to have like a huge surge so now this catalyst can be as this we have a news coming up which there is a bill that will be coming up from the indian market and you see it's one of the biggest market that we are having like in like for example if you notice the bill that was pushed by beijing it has a huge impact in the market for like a little bit of like a short time actually so what it's like it doesn't dictate the market prices so that bill that will be pushed again from the Indian market might not necessarily take the market, like change the direction of the market, but what it can, it can create that little bit of like a huge surge in the market before the market will start. So that, that news can be like a real catalyst or like a fuel to give in into the market. So now that being said, that will be a bill that will push, push. and the bill as is currently actually, it's a bill that was stating that uh, will be affecting like a, if you read the headlines was uh, crypto bills and you spoke in Indian investors that there will be like a, they're telling the investors not to panically sell their Bitcoin that there will be in, like a bill that will be on a regulatory term, uh, regulatory terms that um, will be corresponding on investors on private, private exchanges and people should be like a, so this is nothing new to the market. Uh, yeah, so this necessarily have no like the, this whole impact of this news is not to like uh, tell you that the market is gonna sold off of anything but it's just like there will be like after we have this support right this support as this region the game plan is the whole idea of the game plan is this coming out of that bill pushing out definitely it might have a lot of negative impact in the market but that whole negative impact will actually just correspond to what will just correspond to maybe we have this huge decline that news can lead to that huge since the news is already stating that a new regulatory bill will be pushed to investors indian investors so that will lead to a lot of people selling a lot of their assets and stuff in the market so that huge decline will what will push the market breaking this 56,000 region support and what we're gonna tap at this 52,000 region 52,000 region 51,000 region so after we tapped at that level now what now this is the time where we can see another reactional level then we can maybe see a not a new pump to the upside in the market and we might go up again or we might get another reaction in the market but as the main time the whole idea of this update is to let you know that this whole consolidation that's like going on around here it's not uh, like it's not a sign of like it's telling you like oh maybe the bulls are stepping in in the market no it's just like the market there's like a lot of hold like people it's like the market is holding its breath for this new catalyst news to get into the market so we have been having a lot of headlines get coming into the crypto so those headlines are just like a well so it's just the market is ready to suck in any news or any data that can provide 
a movement in the market especially a negative data so that negative data will actually help push break this level of uh, support and what we can see us tapping next and we have what we have a full imbalance at this level so we can see us filling out those huge imbalance in the market this whole huge void that was already created in the market and after that we can look for another reactionary level and maybe we can see more sign of like a bull stepping in into the market or whatever is going to come in the market but as the meantime the market is still bearish and what this whole level is not going to be corresponding except if what if we can push above this 56,000 region and we break above it then we can look for what another reactionary pattern and what we can tap a retest that 60,000 region then we can start pumping up but at, at the meantime now BTC is just consolidating around 56,000 region and what we are anticipating what it break to the downside because of all this negative news that has been already headlines that are already popping left and right but we just need we just need a new catalyst that can fuel that decline and we can see more surge to the downside before we can look for another reaction either to the upside down either to the upside of the market or to the downside of the market but currently right now and what but you can should also keep in mind that we are already having a fear index or well, on the fear index you're on the fear radar. that means that investors are quietly like a lot of it, people are more skeptical in the market now but what meaning to say that yeah this is a good time that more accumulate like i mean to say it's safe to say that you should wait before you can start accumulating you need to see that more decline where everyone is like extremely fearful so when it's like extremely fearful or like or extremely like as you already know when people are extremely greedy that's when you should be more fearful so you wait for the market to give you that extremely fearful uh sentiment meaning to say that that huge decline has already happened which will be tapping at 52,000 region once we tap that level that means the market is in, a, in a, on an extremely fearful radar now at that point that you can see what you can start accumulating because of what we have already have that news and so now that means that real market movement will start occurring so i hope you all have take advantage of this and you could also like sit on your hand and wait to see what the market will react from the upcoming bills that will be pushed in the market even though they are not directly the market movers but they have they will have a significant impact in the market coming in the market like we have already seen with the beijing bill that was pushed about burning crypto and stuff like that we had that huge decline before the market started pumping up so this whole regulatory bill also will have the same impact of what creating that bre breaking this whole support level after we broke it down we tap at 56 i 52,000 region then we can see another reaction that we might look into buy the btc and to the upside in the market at the meantime but at the meantime now it's safe to say that the market is fully bearish bearish at the market so i hope you guys can take advantage of this and you know use it for your own to your own advantage also guys check the, check the link on the description we have a free discord channel you can check in there we have free setups we give free trading ideas we host down a live chat and also guys like the video and subscribe to the channel also share the video to everyone who thinks can use that to its own advantage how oh, you have a wonderful time thank you